Diddy reportedly settled with his ex-girlfriend Cassie for $100 million last week. As soon as word leaked out about his large payout, Diddy's former girlfriends hurried to see their attorneys in an effort to hold him accountable. If everything they say is accurate, Diddy is a serial R-word who ought to be in prison rather than having his money taken away from him. In the first new lawsuit, which was filed on Thursday, the plaintiff is a former Syracuse University student who alleges that Diddy assaulted her after inviting her back to his studio after they had dinner at Wells Restaurant in Harlem. Diddy allegedly put the woman in a physical state where she could not independently stand or walk and drugged her, according to the lawsuit. She was taken to a music studio where she couldn't get out of the car. According to the lawsuit, she then proceeded to a place he was staying to sexually assault her. As was his practice, Combs' video recorded the sexual assault. A male friend revealed to her that they had viewed the sex tape along with other men. This is all according to the lawsuit. Another one was filed today. The third woman, Jane Doe, claims she and her friend went to an event at MCA Records, Uptown Records distributor, at the company's New York headquarters, where they met Diddy and R&B singer Aaron Hall. The filing states, throughout the night, Combs and Hall offered drinks to Jane Doe and her friend in a very flirtatious and handsy manner. Diddy and Aaron allegedly invited the women back to Aaron's apartment for an after party as the event was coming to an end. According to the fling, Jane Doe was forced into having sex with Combs while at Hall's apartment and was offered more drinks. Shocked and traumatized, Jane Doe lay in bed after Combs had completed his business. While she was putting on clothes, Hall stormed into the room, pinned her, and made Jane Doe have sex with him. The complaint says Jane Doe quickly got dressed and fled from Hall's residence after the alleged rape. It alleges she later spoke to her friend and learned the other woman had been forced to have sex with Combs and Hall in another room. This is a sad state of affairs. And these are allegations at this time stated in the lawsuit seen by Black Hollywood Report. Diddy maintains his innocence categorically, but we'll be following the story. I'm Lamb, and this is the Black Hollywood Report.